Hello folks, this is EJ once again um, with another commentary time-lapse video of my artwork. Um, this particular artwork that I'm showing to you guys is um, out of my normal range because instead of uh, showing you guys um, a finished work, a detailed work, I'm actually showing you uh, warm-ups two-minute warm-ups and the idea behind a two-minute warm-ups is basically um, you draw something within two minutes and try and finish it as as fast as you can um, I got the idea from college from my college days uh, from figure drawing class with mr. Ed Blackburn professor Ed Blackburn and professor Annette Lawrence those were two of my favorite uh, teachers from University in North Texas um, but yeah for our figure drawing classes uh, some of our warm-ups require us to do one minute two minute five minute warm-ups which is essentially you know we draw the figure within those time frames first one minute then two minutes then five minutes then 20 minutes then we do long hour sessions you know an hour to three hours um, so yeah, that's how our classes were typically set up. Um, and that's where I get the idea from for two minute warm ups. Um, I don't do this often enough. I do it every now and then. Um, but yeah, it's a great way to just, you know, kind of flex my artistic muscles, you know, for the day when my brain is still blank and I have no idea which project I would want to work for during that day. Um, Typically, this is what I do, uh, is just do simple warm-ups, um, such as this one. Now, the way I laid out this exercise is, is uh, simple. Um, when I first started, oh, and there's my first illustration, which is Fortnite bus. It's done and over with. Um, so yeah, that was the first two minutes that I did. But typically when I start out um, my two minute warm up such as this one, I actually have no clue what I'm what I'm drawing or what object I will be drawing. Typically what I do is I would just make a few marks. Uh, sometimes I would try to make a shape. Uh, but yeah, depending on what marks that I put down or what shapes I had accidentally made, then I try to make something out of it. Um, so the first one is always tricky because the first one always kind of sets all the rest that's about to come up, you know. So like in this case, I, I did the Fortnite bus, you know, out of nowhere. I decided, hey, this marks was going to be a Fortnite bus. So I decided to make one. And then obviously like that bus ended up influencing what I came up with next, which is this. Uh, which is another vehicle essentially um, this second illustration I'm making is another vehicle looking thing it's kind of like a, a dump truck of some sort like a futuristic kind of dump truck um, so yeah uh, the the first one I did kind of influence the second one I did um, and another thing I wanted to make note of actually is the, the mark making. When, sometimes when you get really sure on on what I'm doing, uh, my lines start to get straighter and start to get more confident looking. It gets more defined, more hard edge versus like that very first sketch I made, it was more like chicken scratch. Like I, I wasn't sure what I was doing so I was kind of hesitant with my mark making and so yeah i didn't you know i didn't have like strong straight edge lines in that first one but now that i've warm up you know you can see that i've gotten more confident in my mark making here i am again you know not really sure what i'm making but um i was influenced with that dump truck again with the curve of the uh the cab side 
So, uh... So yeah, the jump truck uh, influences third one. Uh, I ended up deciding to make a robot out of the first initial sketch. Um, the curve of the robot's head was very uh, reflective, or was very very similar to the curve of the dump truck's um, driver's cab, and. Uh, I guess I was just trying to recreate that shape or something and then when I did the curve I, I saw the potential for making a head out of it and so hey look I decided to make a robot <laughs> and so here I am trying to get as much of the robot as much as I can within the two minute time frame. And since you could see like a hint of like the Fortnite bus at on the very top of that robot's head, you could, you could see the differences in the mark making. The Fortnite was just very loose, while this robot, I mean, you can tell it was a lot more smoother and more hard edge. And then of course the robot influenced this next one I, I'm doing, which is you know I decided to go with a human eye, hu human character, humanoid character. So yeah, um, kind of drawing a female character right here. Um, it just came in my head. So this by the time I started doing this one, you know I, I kind of have a definitive idea of. Kind of what I wanted to do based on on the others that came before it. Um, the next one I did after this one though is interesting because um, the creature that I created after this girl, that one I decided to go on a deep end and just not um, be influenced by anything else. Like I remember, like my train of thought was like, okay, I wanted to do a girl because I did the robot. You know, so I did a girl, but then after the girl, I was kind of like, well, I don't know what to do <laughs> next. So I just started sketching again without kind of like an idea what I was going to do. And I ended up with a creature. But yeah, um, two minute warm ups is a good way of warming your day up. Uh, very, very great way to start out your art day. Uh, especially for me since my art days are typically consist of me you know juggling between different projects spending an hour here spending an hour there on that project another hour on this project so on and so forth um, but yeah um, to get a fresh mind I would typically do warm-ups not often enough though I honestly need to do more of it. And here comes the creature. I didn't really expect to make that um, this creature right here. Like I said, it was just this came out of the blue. But when I started seeing it, I was like, oh, look, I could make it like this. And so I did. I thought this creature's legs was very interesting the way I made it. I made it into like a two-legged creature, like a, a bird of some sort.
and that's it folks thank you for watching uh, like and subscribe uh, and whatnot thank you bye